open the heavens over you. I believe so. Wow. And increase is going to Amen. come to you. More increase to you in the name of Amen. the Lord. Jesus. I receive it all. So it's a joy and privilege to be here this morning. Yes, sir. We are glad to have you. Amen. And please, we want to receive God's word. For Hallelujah. You. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, uh, this morning, we thank God for the 40 days of power. And uh, we thank God for the opportunity to come into his presence to hear the word of God. Um, um, today ends the end of our 40 days of prayer and fasting with Dr. Mensah Otabel. And we've had a very tremendous time. And this is a build up to the greatest event on earth, which is Greater Works 2019. But this morning, I want to share on open heavens. I believe that this very week, we have come into a season of open heavens. After spending 40 days to pray and fast, the heavens will be open. Let's turn our Bibles to Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says that, And it came to pass in the thirteenth year, in the fourth month of the fifth day of the month, I was among the captives by the river Cheba, that the heavens were open. And I saw visions of God on the fifth day of the month, which was in fifth year of King Joachim's captivity. And the word of the Lord came expressly to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the childings by the river Cheba, and the hand of the Lord came upon me. Maybe I may want to tweak this word this way that on the 29th day, on the, on the uh, 2019, on the, 20, on, the, on, the, on the seventh month, which is July, and on the 29th day, the heavens were open over us. I believe that this morning the heavens are open over us as a church, as a people, as a nation. If you want to look at this text, you will notice that three significant things happen when the heavens were open. The first thing that happened that Ezekiel said that I saw visions of God. Anytime the heavens are open, God brings impartation of vision. Anytime the heavens are open, God brings impartation of heaven, a vision. And it's very important that your life is guided by vision. The Bible says that where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint. That means that in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, and I believe that in this 40, in this greater works, God is going to bring an impartation of vision to us as we go to the independence square and Christ's temple to receive the word of the Lord. The Bible says that, and the heavens were open, I saw visions of God. It's very important that there'll be an impartation of vision. You need a vision to carry out your assignment. And if you are carrying a vision, one of the most important things is that you don't need an abortionist around you. I pray for you that in this season, God will plant the right people around you. In the life of Mary, when she received the vision of having a child that will be Jesus, the Bible says that the angel mentioned to her that your cousin Elizabeth, who was called barren, is now pregnant. And the Bible says immediately, Mary packed her luggage and went to the hill country of Nazareth and to greet Elizabeth. Yes. And the Bible said when she greeted Elizabeth, the babies leap for joy. Mm. When you are carrying vision, you need the right people around you. I pray for you that God will send the wrong people out of your life. Amen. And in this season, God will bring the right people in your life. Amen. That will cause your baby to leap. Because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17, that iron sharpeneth iron. So when you are carrying vision, you need somebody who also sharpen your vision, not somebody who will cause your baby to be aborted. I speak over somebody here that in this week, may God cause your vision to leap, your dreams to leap. The Bible says there's a hope for a tree. As long as it remains on the earth, at the scent of water, though it may be cut, it might, it will bad again. I pray for you that the Lord will help you, that every dream you carry, every vision you carry, that seems to die in the name of the Lord Jesus. As we come to the end of these 40 days, may you receive life again in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible says here that the second thing that happened in, in the upper heavens, that the Bible said that the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel. Anytime the heavens open, God will bring an accurate word to you. Yes. I believe that God is giving us an accurate word this week. Yes. As we gather at the Independence Square, as we gather at Christ's temple, God is bringing us a word called Rima. Yes, a Rima is a specific word to a specific person at a specific time carrying a specific anointing. Yes. I declare over your life that as we come into this season of greater ways, God will bring a word in season to our lives. Yes. Our marriages, our businesses, our careers, 
our finances. Somebody, God is going to speak directly to you. God is going to cause his word to come alive in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, the Bible said, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit and of the joints, joints and marrow, and the discerner and the thoughts and the intents of God. I pray for you that God word will come to you in clarity. Many of us have come to the junction of our life. You are going through the runabout of our life, but a direct word is coming to you. A word is coming to you this week. A word is coming under open heavens. God will speak a specific word to you. I speak over your life that God's word will come to you through his word, through worship, through the preaching of the word. As we gather at the Independence Square, we declare that a Rima word will come even to this nation, to Africa. And to the global community. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare that under this open heaven. God will speak to that need in your life. And the Bible says God is not a man to lie. The son of man to repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? So that word is coming to somebody at the sound of my voice this morning. Wherever you are. You may be in the hospital bed. You may be sick. But God's word is coming to you. The Bible said he sent forth his word to heal. So I speak healing over your life right now. I declare healing over your marriage right now. I declare healing over your business right now. I declare healing over your career right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Anything containing with the word of God in your life. Ezekiel said, an express word came to me. I declare over your life that an express word is coming to you. It will not be hindered. It will not be stopped. It will land on your life and it will manifest in the name of the Lord Jesus. The third thing happened and the open heavens, the Bible says that, and the hand of God came upon me. Anytime we talk about the hand of God, it talks about the anointing. Ezekiel said, the hand of God came upon me. And the open heavens, it's very important that we understand the anointing. Because as a believer, you need the anointing to grease and also cause you to function. And there are different types of anointing. There's an anointing that comes from our calling to the anointing that is released in the season. But I believe that in this week, a fresh anointing is coming on our lives. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 46, the Bible said that, Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he got up his loins and ran ahead of Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. I speak over somebody here that God is giving you divine speed. When the hand of God comes upon your life, God accelerates things in your life. I believe that many of us, from January to July, we have been waiting for something to happen in our life. It seems as if it has delayed. But I declare over your life that under open heavens, may God grant you divine speed. I see the hand of God coming over somebody's marriage, somebody's business, somebody's career, somebody's finances. You were at the back, you were forgotten. But the Bible says that the hand of God came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I declare over your life this morning that you are receiving a visitation. You are receiving power. You are receiving grace over your life. You will run and overtake. It does not matter who have gone ahead of you. It does not matter who, who has left you. Never mind when the hand of God comes upon you, the difference will be made in your life. The Bible says that in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13, that and Samuel took a horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brother. Talking about David. And the Bible said, And the Spirit of the Lord came upon, upon David from that day onwards. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. When Samuel anointed David, David was turned into another man. I speak over your life that every Goliath in your life, every lion, every bear you have been contending with in your destiny, as you receive the hand of God upon your life, you shall destroy them in the name of Jesus. And when the hand of God comes upon you, you shall do extraordinary. You shall do the supernatural. I declare over your life this morning that as we go to greater works, as we finish these 40 days of power, the heavens are open over you and the hand of God is making a difference in your life. The hand of God is going to change things in your life. The hand of God is going to transform things in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree over your life that when the hand of God comes upon you, everything that is not working around you is about to work well. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And Ezekiel said, the heavens were open. I saw visions of God. I heard the word of God expressly coming to me and the hand of the Lord. In this season, 
on the 29th of July 2019. I declare over your life that that's an open heavens. As we get to Independence Square this evening at 6 p.m., we declare an open heavens over our country, over Africa, over the whole global world, global community, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare that Ghana has entered a new season. I declare that you have entered a new season, a season of open heavens. You have not just waited for 40 days for nothing. God is about to come through for somebody and the sound of my voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, things are turning around. You are receiving grace. You are receiving power. You are receiving grace to overtake her. That's an overtaker's anointing. I believe that from this month to the end of the year somebody is about to recover everything that was stolen from him you are receiving grace to do mighty things in the name of the lord jesus i declare over somebody at the sound of my voice it may seem as if things have been slow things have been delayed but in the name of jesus and that this open heavens may you receive speed may you receive speed may you receive speed in the name of the lord jesus i decree that anything that as we tell you anything that has hindered your vision may you receive an impartation of vision a fresh impartation of vision in the name of the lord jesus may god cause his word concerning your life come to pass may you receive a rima word that will change your life forever in the name of the lord jesus let god arise on your behalf and let your enemies scatter no matter what you're going through the word of god is able to change your story in the name of the lord jesus i prophesy over somebody's life that this morning you are receiving life and you are receiving more it abundantly in the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare that you just entered a season of open heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. There's going to be a release of the